What's up? JC News Now. Let's go check out uh, probation and parole in Howe County. Now, a normal person would not go into a probation office to start shit. But then again, Jimmy's not a normal person. <laughs> Good afternoon, folks. Wrangler here, and today we're going to look at one of the trespasses that's got little Jimmy here, uh, our favorite fugitive of the week, on the run from a felony warrant. And it started at this probation office, and we will include the body cam footage at the end of it. So, yeah, and I got news for everybody. If you're on any government property whatsoever, and you're inside the doors, unless it is directly designed to be a traditional public forum, it is at the minimum a limited public forum, which means if you're not in there to get services for which that establishment, that building, that department, that agency is designed to provide, they can tell you to bounce. They can set policies that if you want to be in that building, you have to abide by. If you don't, they'll tell you to bounce. If you don't bounce, you'll be trespassed. It's not difficult. And another thing for auditors, there's no such thing as soliciting a trespass. If a cop asks a business owner or asks a, the agency they were called to enforce the law at, if they ask them, do they want you trespassed? That's not illegal. It's not a crime. It's not immoral. And it's not considered unethical. Being a frauditor is actually all of those things. Enjoy. Officer Carter. Sir, yes, are you sir. trying to shine through the, the department or the, through the window there? Are you trying to shine, like, record through the window there? I don't answer questions. Okay. Well, at least he's not sexually harassing any more females in this video. Can I help you with something? Sure, can I get your name? No. Oh, then, then you can't help me. You're dismissed. Can I get your name? No, sir. I'm going to ask you to leave. You can ask all you want. It's a public office. Please leave. No. Okay. All right. You want to give me your name for you bark directives? He wants to bark a directive, but he don't want to give his name. And there's no federal or state law that requires him to give you shit. Leaving any information out for the public to view? I hope not. We're afraid of a camera. I wonder if they caught the popo. Okay, yes, I do need help, please. Yes, sir, I do need help. Can I have a blank sheet of paper? I'm gonna do a sunshine re request right here. I'm gonna do a sunshine request. I'll give it to you, and you can copy it and date stamp it and give me my copy back, and I'll get out of your hair. Not gonna happen. No, not gonna happen. <laughs> not. After making a couple of phone calls, we have learned that in the state of Missouri, that an office such as this, the only records they keep on file are that of the probationers that they have in their charge. And Jimmy here has absolutely zero legal access to those records whatsoever. The only people that have access to those records will be law enforcement. And they don't have employee files there. So if you want to file a sunshine request, which is, I think, Jimmy's stick is his go-to, his reason that he uses as an excuse to be in a place he knows he's not supposed to be in so that he can get clickbait on a video he's going to re-upload six fucking times. But they're not going to fulfill your sunshine request there because they don't legally have to. I mean, if you call the police, I'll wait around. But if you're not going to, I don't have a lot of time. But I won't run from the cops. Ooh. Yeah, um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Well, like I said, the reason that we're referring to him as our favorite fugitive frauditor of the week is because he has felony warrants out for his arrest right now. He's aware of them and he's running like the little bitch that he is. I really just need to do a sunshine request. So I do have business here. Sorry to interrupt again. No, you don't, Jimmy, because as I've already explained, as I learned for, by making one phone call, actually, they don't provide the records that you want from there. Therefore, if they don't provide those records, you don't have any business in there. Yes, it is, sir. 
It most certainly is. You paid by tax dollars. It's public record. I'm still going to submit the request. By law, you have to take it. So all I need is a blank sheet of paper and, a, and you got a pencil here. I'll do it. You make my copy. I'll get out of here. If you're not going to comply, I'm going to put a complaint on you, sir. All right. Not getting much compliance here. We're going to fix that, though. Not going to happen. No, not going to happen. <laughs> not. And again, Jimmy, who are you to force compliance out of anybody for anything? Those are employed state agents. You're an unemployed little food stamp collect collector illegally driving around in your mom's Buick. RJ309S, isn't that the tag number? In case there's any law enforcement that come across a Buick with that tag, uh, that is a individual who's currently a fugitive running from a felony warrant. Be careful. He doesn't want to go back to prison. But little Jimmy does not have any authority over anybody. He doesn't pay taxes. He doesn't own property to pay tax on. When he's not running from the cops, he lives in his mama single wide. So, as I said, Jimmy, you're nobody for them to have to comply to. All right, well, it's go time, and this is the officer's body cam point of view. Hey, sir. It's that JC guy that records everything. He's, yeah. He's in here, so I believe we're within our rights to ask him to, to leave, and if he doesn't, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, that's trespass. So yeah, that's just what we'd like to do at this point. Okay. He's not been too too rowdy, uh, but he, the, the recording, he's trying to push his phone into the window and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. So okay, I think that's about it. All right. Do you need me for anything necessarily right now, or? But you guys, if he doesn't leave, do you want me to charge him with trespassing? Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't leave, I, okay. He he mentioned. Hey, I know law enforcement's probably coming. So he said, once you guys got here, I think he will be willing to leave. And okay. so, great. Um, but yeah, just okay. don't, don't want him here. All right, sounds good. All right, thanks. Thank you. I love that he's gloving up before he even goes in, knowing what species of trailer trash he's about to deal with. Hey, sir. How's it going? Do you go by JC? Yeah, that's me. They, they don't want you here anymore. You uh, care to leave for me? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm trying to do a sunshine request first. Well, I, that, this isn't, isn't the way you do it. Hey, so, yes. But they want you to leave. So okay. let's step out of the building, okay? Well, well, is it a public office? It is accessible to certain members of the public that have specific business in that office. It is not accessible to 55-year-old pieces of trash that like to sexually harass innocent women and dox their personal information on the internet because they stood up to him. So get out, bum. Sir, they told me it's their building, it's the state's building, and they don't right. want you here, so you need to leave. Oh. Are you going to no, arrest me if I don't? Yes, sir, I will arrest you. That's all I need. Is. What's your name, Brad's number? It's all painted right here. Oh, so you just don't want to say it. It's actually painted on his uniform like that to comply with identification statutes and laws and policies depending on what area of the country you're in. He doesn't have to say it to you so that he can be your bitch for your pain in the ass little bitty video. How come is it, Jimmy, that you got four times the subs that I do, but yet when I make a video about your garbage, I get 10 times the views. That's not bad. You can, you can, you can see it clearly, correct? So yeah, let's go ahead and go. Right, don't touch me. I'll go. Don't touch me. Don't put your hands on go me. Go ahead and step out because I've asked you three times now to step out of the building. I'm going to. What's your name and badge number? I already given it to you. No, you didn't. You didn't give me your badge okay. number. So if they don't, they don't want you here anymore, if you come back, they're going to want you to mm -hmm. charge you a trespass. Nope. All right, then I'm going to have you got to say it. You're dismissed. You're dismissed, Brixie. Get back to work. He is working. Right now, he's having to babysit a 55-year-old man-child who at 55 still is with his mama, who's also a convicted felon, that's wandering around his department vehicle, So, who has a hatred of cops. So I wouldn't leave you alone with my car. So he is working. You unemployed, welfare-collecting piece of shit. 
So actually by your own standards, since that officer pays the income taxes that funds your welfare and your food stamps through his state and federal taxes, you work for him, bitch. You don't want to identify. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do my uh, sunshine request like a lab by law. Okay. You're violating my rights, sir. Okay. It's state property. That means it's public. And you put your hands on me. Yep, because you refuse to you leave. You cannot put your hands on a private citizen, sir, without cause. Sir, did if, you, I go, if did, you go back in the building, you're going to be arrested for trespassing. Did, Have a great day. Did I commit a crime? Yes, you're trespassing. No, I'm not. You just asked me to leave and I left. Afterwards, it's a crime, buddy. Learn the law. I got a hundred, oh, screw that. I got ten grand, says that little sexual harassing, cyber stalking piece of shit wouldn't come up to yours truly pointing his little finger and screaming. Anybody else want to take that bet? All right, here he comes. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, sir. Hey, how's it going? Do you go by JC? Yeah, that's me. They, they don't want you here anymore. Uh, you care to leave for me? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm trying to do a sunshine request first. Well, I have that, business This here. isn't the way you do it. It so, is. But they want you to leave. So okay. let's step out of the building, okay? Well, well, is it a public office? Sir, they told me it's their building, it's the state's building, and they don't right. want you here. That so makes you it need public. To leave. Are you going to no, arrest me if me. I don't? Yes, sir, I will arrest you. That's all I needed. What's your name, Brad's number? It's all painted right here. Oh, so you just don't want to say it? Come it's on, not man. Bad. You, can, you, can, you can see it clearly, correct? So yeah, but, let's go ahead and go. All right, don't touch me. I'll go. Don't touch me. Don't put your hands on go me. Go ahead and step out, because I've asked to. you three times now to step out of the building. I'm going to. What's your name and badge number? I've already given it to you. No, you didn't. You didn't give me your badge okay. number. So if they don't, they don't want you here anymore, if you come back, they're going to want you. Am I detained? Nope. All right, then I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. You're dismissed. You're dismissed, Brixie. Get back to work. Go on. Get back to work. Shoo. Shoo. Get. Get your ass back to work. Sorry I made your appointment late. I'm not going to get you on camera. I'm JC News now. Hold on. Yeah, where is it? Sorry, I made your appointment late. No, no, you're good. Uh, I'm, I ain't sure about it. I didn't have to do it in there. I'm JC News now. <laughs> I'm on YouTube. I'm a cop watcher. Oh, there you go. I, I hold them accountable. I just got trespassed from a public building. Well, here's my thing, Jimmy. Who's holding you accountable? We are. That's why you have felony warrants out for your arrest right now. And that's why you're running like a bitch. Because you are one. Why don't you man up and turn yourself in? Freaking coward. Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good one. I'll see you tonight.